Hey, this is Max here. So in this tutorial, I will show you how you can implement lead scoring in ManyChat. It's really powerful, it's really effective, and it's actually surprisingly easy to implement. So I will share my screen now, and then we'll dive in. So I wrote down some bullet points here that I want to talk about. So first, we're going to talk about what lead scoring actually is. Then we will talk about your threshold, how you can determine your threshold. And then I will show you how you can set this up inside ManyChat. And then I also have a cool way to show you how you can actually automate this. And I will also show some use cases. So let's start with what lead scoring is. So the goal of lead scoring is to figure out which subscribers of your messenger bot are already to buy and which ones need further nurturing. So yeah, which which of your subscribers are already ready to buy and which ones do you need to send more valuable content so that they are also going to be ready to buy. So you score leads based on the interest that they show in your business and the actions that they take. So this is also called explicit scoring. You also have implicit scoring, but it's more about demographics, where they're from, and if they suit your target group well, etc., etc. So yeah, we're basically going to score them based on their engagement and how they interact with your messenger bot. So this can be either positive or negative. So when they do something positive, like a positive action, then we're going to increase the score. And when they do something negative, then we're going to decrease the score. So here are some examples of uh, yeah, positive behavior. So for example, when they engage with a sequence or a broadcast, so then we would uh, add like two points to their lead score. Or when they typed a positive keyword, like awesome, then we would add three points. Or when they gave their email address, that's a sign of trust, right? So then we would add four points. Or when they were registered for a webinar, five points. Or when they even attended the webinar, then we would do plus 10 points. Then here are some negative ones. So for example, if they did not want to give their email address, then we would do minus three. If they would cancel the webinar registration, then we would do minus five. If they uh, do not show up for the webinar, then we would do the same. Then we also do minus five. Um, when they typed stop inside your messenger bot to unsubscribe, but then they didn't, then yeah, it's still like yeah, negative behavior, right? So then we do minus five. Or when they do not engage for two weeks, then we do minus five. Or when they just completely unsubscribe from your bot, then you maybe want to do minus 10 or even minus 20. So yeah, these are some examples of yeah things that we are going to implement. So yeah, lead scoring is just like a thing to figure out who's ready to buy and who's not. And people are getting more and more or like higher, higher, like their score is getting higher and higher. And... Yeah, then which core are they most likely to become a customer? So their score is getting higher, but then at a certain point, you know, like, okay, now it's fairly likely that they are going to buy something or that they want to buy something that they're ready to be sold to, basically. And this is what I call the threshold. So this threshold is a bit more than art than a science, but most marketers start with 100. When somebody reaches 100 then you know like okay they're ready to be sold to and then you can just like look at what's happening and maybe you have to scale this down to 80 maybe people are already ready when they're 80 or maybe you have to increase it to 130 so you will just see this along the way and then I want to show you how you can implement this in ManyChat. So we're going to do two things. It's actually really easy to do this. So we're going to create a number custom field and we're going to name it lead score. And then we're going to add some actions in a flow where we can in increase or decrease the lead score. So what we do is we go over to ManyChat and then we're going to the settings. I'm already here. And then we go over to custom fields. Well, I already created the lead score custom field, but I will show you how to do it anyway. So for the name, we will just say lead score. We set the type to number, and then you can also give it a fancy description if you want, and then you can hit create, and then the lead score custom field is created. Now then in the flow, what we want to do is we want to, for example, we want to reward someone who um, yeah, said like that the video was awesome. So we're going to ask like, hey, how did you like the 
video. So let's imagine we just send them a video, right? And then we ask, how did they like it? And then we're going to say, it was awesome. Or people can answer, it sucked. So if they say that it was awesome, then we want to increase the lead score. So what we would do is we add an action, and then we scroll down here, and then we set the custom field. Now what we do then is we select the custom field here, we go over to lead score, and then we increase the number by. So this is where the number custom field comes into play, why that one is so important, because you cannot do this with a, with a text custom field. So we're going to increase the number by, and in this case, I want to increase it by two. Now, if somebody says that it sucked, then I basically want to do the same, but then the opposite. So I create a new action. I want to set the custom field. And I look up the custom field. And this time I want to decrease it. And I want to decrease it by two. So then we save it. And yeah, that's basically how we do it. And then you would just continue the, the flow like you, how you normally would. And you would say, okay, awk, thanks for letting me know. And then we hit save, and then you click publish. And then, yeah, so when somebody clicks this, they their lead score gets increased by two. And when they click this, it will be decreased by two. And then they get a message that says, okay, awk, thanks for letting me know. So that's basically how you do that. And I've also found a way how you can actually automate your lead scoring based on their uh, interaction. So what I wanted to do is every time that they interact with the messenger bot, I wanted to give some points. So instead of every time like placing some of these uh, after the quick replies, I wanted to do something automatically. So I was like, okay, I will create a rule. So you can find those under automation and then rules. And then I have to scroll down. And then I did this. So three hours after the last interaction, I will increase the lead score with three. So every time they interact with the messenger bot, three hours later, their lead score gets increased by three. So I, do the, I set this to three hours, because if I would set this to, for example, one minute, then every time that they interact, and then maybe not for a minute, and then they interact again, and then they continue the conversation again, then their lead score would go very quickly up. I only want this, like every time that they really interact, I only want to do this, like basically once over a period of three hours. So yeah, I found that to be very, very, very handy. That saved me lots of time to implement this in the flows. And then yeah, I wanna show you some other ways which you can also use it for. So you could, for example, broadcast people who are engaged. So imagine that you maybe uh, wanna send out like a promotion or something or something else that you wanna let your subscribers know about, but you only wanna let people know who are already a bit more familiar with your content maybe, who already know you a bit longer, and you don't wanna let people know about this promotion who are like just on your list, because then you're maybe perceived as a bit pushy or a bit salesly, and I don't, I think you really don't want that. So how you can use it for broadcasting is actually also really easy. So you go over to broadcast, and then you click new broadcast, and then if for now, I will just, just leave this blank, but this then will be your broadcast, right? And then we go next. And what we wanna do then is we wanna set your targeting. So your targeting, you wanna set, let me look it up, lead score. And I only wanna send this to people who have a lead score that is 25 or higher. And then we have a server error here, not sure what's going on there, but that's basically how it works. And you have to be careful with sending promotional uh, content, by the way, like Messenger has this, um, or Facebook Messenger, they have these rules that you cannot send any promotional content outside the 24 hour window. So make sure that you first send something, maybe something valuable, something like a, a tip, a trick, uh, a video, or, or something that's helpful, and then follow up with your offer. And if you don't have that, you really just wanna send your offer, then make sure to click promotional broadcast and then, ManyChat will only send it to people who interacted um, in the past 24 hours with your messenger bot. And then if you have set this, we'll have a lead score that is greater or equal to 25. So that's one of the use cases. And then the other one is actually the one that I use most. And it is that you can 
invite people to your conversion event, like a webinar or a coaching call or some kind of offer. And it is that you check in the end of your flow um, what their lead score is. So let's go back over to the flow that we just created. So let's imagine now that after this, we wanna check if their lead score uh, reached a certain amount. So for example, let's say, okay, we wanna check if their lead score is 100. So equal to 100 or higher. And then I'm going to click here, continue to another step. So if their score is greater or equal to 100, I wanna invite them to a webinar. How to make it webby, here invitation. And if not, then I just wanna wish them a great day. Have a great day. So it's just a simple example, right? So that's how you do that. And yeah, I found this to be very effective. So I always send some valuable content first, like a video or a tip or a trick. And then at the end, I will check if their lead score is greater or equal to 100. And then I invite them to my conversion event. And the great thing about this is that you don't have to worry about the 24 hour uh, rule because they just interacted with your content. So you can basically send them whatever you want. And another thing that I really like doing is to ask for feedback. And this basically works the same. So at the end of the flow, you would ask how they like the messenger bot, how they like the content, etc., etc. But I also only want to do this to people who are already in the bot, like maybe a bit longer. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine it. So I will put this down. I'm going to create a new condition. And then I'm going to check if their lead score is uh, 25 or higher. So 25. So if it's not higher than 25, I'm just going here and then we're going to check if it's for some reason higher than 100, which it will not. And then we'll just continue to know and then we'll say have a great day. But if yes, then I want to start another flow and then I want to ask for feedback. So this is an example. And what you also have to think about here then is that uh, you want to make sure that not every time that someone follows this path that they get this over and over again when their re lead score reaches 25. So what we're going to do is we're also going to add that the tag isn't gay feedback on chatbot. So in this flow, I ask for feedback and then woo -woo, everybody who gives feedback, they get this tag, gave feedback on chatbot. So I wanna make sure that their lead score is greater than 25 and that their tag is not event gave feedback on chatbot. So yeah, that's basically how that works. And then I have a last trick for you that you can also use. And it is that you can, for example, start an email campaign based on which lead score they have. So I'm going to save this. We're going back over to rules. And then here I already created it. So what we wanna do is we wanna trigger a rule that is date, oh no, sorry, that is. <coughs> so we, so, so what we basically wanna do is we wanna create, um, so what we basically wanna do is we wanna trigger this rule if the custom field changes to a certain value. So what we do is we select again the lead score and then we say, okay, has changed or greater than equal to, now, for example, 50. So if it's 50 or higher, I wanna start an automation in active campaign. Now, what I also wanna do is I wanna add a condition here and I wanna filter out all the people that don't have an email address. So I wanna say, has any value. So this rule should be triggered if the lead score is greater than or equal to 50 and if the email is any value, and then you can, for example, trigger a zap, you can uh, start an external request, you can trigger Integromod to pass this data over to uh, your email service provider of choice. So I'm using ActiveCampaign, so then I would use an external request, 
I would use Active Campaign, the API, and then I would send it over and I would start an automation. So yeah, that's basically how lead scoring works inside ManyChat. So I hope this tutorial is helpful. If you have any questions about this, then just drop them below. And also don't forget to subscribe if you like more content like this. And I will also link out to an example flow with some lead scoring in the description of this video. So just go down there, you can just find it. And yeah, we will talk soon.